Well, hello there. And welcome to our first look at Pal Palia. I think it's Palia. I'm sorry. The name, I might be destroying it. Anyways, welcome, welcome. Hopefully, you're all having a wonderful day. Today, we're checking out Palia. Um, it looks super cool. looks interesting. It looks like an like an online MMO, like crafting builder farming kind of thing. Like, I don't know. We're going to hop in. Anyways, let me get through the character creation stuff, and then we're going we're gonna to get into this. I am so excited. Hopefully, you are as well. I will have a link down below if you want to check out Palia for yourself. Um, it is in a, I think it's in a closed beta, but it seems like a lot of people are getting access. And I'll also have like a little friend uh, code thing down there. And if you click that and sign up to that, then I, I think you get some like extra stuff, you know, some extra cosmetics and whatnot. But anyways, let me go ahead, like me, let me make a character and we'll get into this. All right, I created a, I crafted our character. My name is actually Z and then one, like the one spelt out. Um, I'm not crafty with with character names. Anyways, thank you all so much for being here. Hopefully you're all on a wonderful day. If you guys enjoyed, like I said, uh, maybe leave a like on the video, subscribe if you haven't already. Let's get into it though. I'm so excited to see what this is actually about. Um, I've been seeing videos. Oh, here we go. Okay, hold on. Let's watch. Let's watch this super amazing intro. Unless it's the trailer. If it's the trailer one, we've already seen that. Well, you know what? We better watch it anyways. You never know. Something magical is happening. Maybe. There's butterflies and there's statues of really long necked birds oh architect oh look at the look at that robot the thing is sweet uh oh she activated something she pushed the button the red button that says do not push she pushed it Oh. Oh, is that me? I'm not purple. <gasps> I'm alive. I'm awake. I like how everybody else is purple. Hi. Oh my dragon. Did did you just materialize from nowhere? I honestly have no idea. Oh, there's like different oh. Not sure, but I'm glad I'm here. More like a spirit. Sparkling void. I honestly have no idea. Not sure, but I'm glad to be here. That sounds good. I mean, I heard humans had uh, starting appearance out of out of nowhere. Oh, starting appearance out of nowhere, but in sacred sites around. Okay, interesting. Literally didn't think that mean uh, literally appearing out of nowhere. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we got some movement controls. Uh, she gave me a map. She said to head to town because she's got too much work to do here. I literally, literally materialized out of thin air, and she's got too much work to do. She's got to stay here. She doesn't want to follow the thing that literally spawned from nothing. <laughs> now we get the world using WSD. Uh, okay, we already know that. And then we've got the mouse stuff. Okay, understood. <gasps> oh, okay. Let's see how the controls feel. Oh, they actually feel pretty good. Okay. I always worry about how how the character movements feel because sometimes uh sometimes they feel a little like a like wishy-washy if that makes sense oh we're gonna have to jump okay some obstacles can be jumped by pressing space press to toggle sprint and get a longer jump okay understood uh some obstacles can be climbed by moving up them with w. you know pretty basic stuff here sprint jump all that fun stuff uh we're gonna have to climb up this hiya and then we climb up here. We have a little, little stamina meter. I like it. This is giving me some. Uh, this is giving me some some serious uh, Breath of the Wild vibes here. Oh my gosh! This looks super cool. I cannot wait to see what this is like all about. Oh, <gasps> there it is! Yeah, look at that. We did a thing. We did a thing. We got to the title screen already. It's a really pretty game. It's really cool. Okay. All right. So let's see what we've got. Find Ashura in Kalima. Okay. I'm just going to run straight there. I don't think there's going to be anything like, uh, can I collect anything along the way? I don't think so. I don't think we're going to be like breaking down boxes and stuff like that. I'm not sure though. Um, okay. So my person, oh, we're, we're going right over here. Okay. Easy enough. You know, I like how over right here is purple. They're, they're so cool looking. I, you know, I kind of wish I was purple. <laughs> we could be no, we're not gonna be purple people here. <laughs> it's like that's a, never mind. <laughs> Let's go find our person and stop talking. 
you know what i'm pretty sure i'm supposed to walk through this main path right here and like to explore and to see everything for the first time this is so cool so we got a broken windmill there i bet you we're gonna be uh going around fixing stuff getting things up and running uh probably probably things like that it's tish hi tish we don't talk about tish <laughs> uh i love the rounded doors and stuff oh they're so cool we've got this thing which is this is such a cute little town i love it absolutely love it okay where are we going we're going over here that's a cool little thing i don't know what it is some kind of orb deal uh we've got oh is this a mailbox of some sort or is that is that a trash can and then this is like a mailbox okay uh a sure oh okay big man oh he's gonna give us this is the inn isn't it uh, i'm sure this is quite a lot to take in haha <laughs> they could have used a pun there uh i'm the innkeeper unfortunately there isn't any room at the inn right now we do have some old plots where you could build yourself a tent what do you say you want a great outdoors nothing like sleeping under the stars the nice guy here is beautiful i'm sure you'll love it uh so let me so let's see to build a tent you're gonna need to collect some materials okay here we go uh i've got an axe tree here but you'll have to talk to our resident miner about a pick lucky for you he's checking out plots right now you'll want to take the road up the hill to the northeast here i've marked the spot on your map if you get lost just come back here and we'll get you sorted this is such a neat i'm oh look at there's other people playing so like, like i said this is an uh an mmo type game where there is going to be other people playing online this is so cool i'm already excited i'm already excited okay i don't even know what i don't even know where i'm heading where am i supposed to be going i'm supposed to be going back this way this is so cool um where am i supposed to be camping is oh oh okay so this is i was curious how this was gonna work so now like now i already understand it okay so each player's house is gonna be an instanced thing so you're gonna load into the area that your house is in and then it's gonna show you your house because that's that's the only thing with mmos and like crafting and building and stuff that i never like you know it's, it's always interesting to see how it works oh hey guy's got a cool coat and like those like those safety goggles that he probably should have been wearing but he wasn't wearing um hodari what is it what is it what is it that is you know uh it's coming along a lot of trash left though hi um pavel of pavel mining what can i do for you can you tell me about those biceps <laughs> no <laughs> let's not uh right i sure sent several of you new folk my way uh, there's a whole reason for me coming out to check out the soundness of these campsites. Don't need y'all buried in mud. In fact, this one's about ready for use if you want it. Just needs a bit more work. I see you've already got an axe. Here, take this pick too. Um, I always have the right tool for the right job. Use them both to clear the breed, would you? Awesome. Uh, oh, we also got some, some, ooh, we got some food. Yeah. Okay, so tools and gathering. Hold R to open the tool wheel. Hover over the tool and release R to equip it try gathering stuff from a nearby rock to press and hold to start using the equipped tool press r to switch to another tool try gathering wood from the nearby wood debris press f to gather items you've created got it okay so now there here's the question okay so it doesn't automatically equip a tool okay now do we have an overall stamina it doesn't look like it okay so I was worried if I wasn't sure if there's was gonna be like a Stardew Valley-esque kind of thing where you have like an overall stamina for for the day, you know, and you have to like you can only do so much in a day, but it doesn't look like it. it looks like you can kind of just do as much as you want, which is amazing. But then again, what's the food for? Hold on, do I have a uh, escape? Do I have an inventory eye? Okay, what is this? Munch on these mushrooms, grill over campfire, plus fifty focus points. What does that do? Skill levels, focus. Oh, increasing focus is as simple as eating. When you earn XP, some of your focus is used to increase the total XP earned. Your focus bonus is 20%. Oh, so you want, okay, so you can do stuff. However, you want to eat. How do I consume this? <gasps> so you want to eat. Okay, so now my focus. Okay, so there we go. Focus increases experience gained from all sources and is regenerated by eating. Got it. So you don't have a stamina, you have focus. So if you want more XP, then you need to uh, have more fun. Oh, 
that is pretty cool okay that's pretty cool i gotta say that's pretty neat that's a, that's a that's a cool way of doing that i like that okay let's chop some wood now let's grab this guy oh wait hold on did it say loot <gasps> oh okay very cool this is neat oh we got a mushroom right here a mountain moral mm, i bet it's tasty i bet you you probably probably one of those things that you need to uh <laughs> you probably need to cook uh oh do we have anything in this guy Okay, so I think we're good now. Are we good? Are we good on you? Yeah, still lots to do, but it's a start. I think I found this weird thing. I found a lot of strange things in his mind, but I'm not sure what this is. Wait, what, what? What weird thing? Well, you found it, so you keep it. Your plot, after all. Uh, I've got the pots to inspect, but there should be space to drop this work table down now. I suggest you focus on getting a roof over your head and a place to keep your things before you worry about glowing tubes. What? Okay. Oh, the glowing tube must be something I picked up. All right, select the workbench from the action bar using the numbered hotkey. Press to enter placement mode. Rotate Q and E. Press again to make a final placement action bar. Select. Okay. So now we have a. Uh, oh, action bars. Your action bar. Your action bar is full. You can scroll to action bar number two using scroll. Use the pips to keep track of the action bar is displayed. The items you place in your action bar are outlined in your inventory. Okay. Understood. Okay, so oh darn. So you can't you can't use the scroll wheel to scroll through the inventory. So you have to just you have to select and then Oh this is cool. Okay, we're gonna put it right here by the front. Because that should be hopefully out of the way kind of. And then what do we have here? Uh craft a wooden storage chest, place your wooden storage chest, craft a tent at the workbench, place your tent. Okay, so we have a makeshift tent. So we need request item interesting uh plant fiber and some wood so let's go ahead and let's get some more plant fiber and some wood which is probably going to be from wood from these and i bet you i didn't check is this plant fiber sapwood plant yep we get plant fiber from the plants imagine that okay um i guess we're gonna should we take down the bushes i mean eventually we're probably gonna clear all this stuff out anyways and we'll probably i feel like we're gonna do some gardening at some point you know like planting our own stuff Okay, so we definitely need to take down the trees too because that's how we get that's how we get more wood actually it looks like we get a decent amount of wood from uh, the trees too like we got five from that little tree uh we got nine from that one so that's pretty good i think we probably have enough now for yeah okay so let's go ahead and make this all right so now our tent let's go we're gonna put our tent over here in the corner <laughs> oh my gosh okay never mind the thing is massive it's absolutely huge all right hold on we're gonna have to clear out all this stuff so i'm working on clearing this all out and uh you know what's actually cool this is like you can actually go out here and and gather stuff um yeah because i was like wait a second i was curious because i saw there was a mushroom hold on there was, i saw a mushroom out here just a second ago too I was gonna go grab it and I was like, wait, can we actually go out there? Because sometimes, you know, you can't like go out in this area it's just for looksies. No, you can you can absolutely go out here and collect stuff. So oh, there it is. Haha, <laughs> delicious mushroom. Anyways, yeah, it's super cool. Okay, gonna continue clearing stuff and then we're gonna place our giant tent. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and see if we can place our tent now. <laughs> the thing is huge. Um oh my gosh, this thing is massive. Okay, hold on. So where's the center of our thing? Okay, so the center of the thing is right here. So let's just place it right in there. Perfect. Oh, it looks so good. This thing is huge. <laughs> it is gigantic. All right, craft a wood storage chest, place your storage chest. All right, so let's go ahead and, hey, talk to Anu when they visit your plot. Hello. Howdy. Howdy. Ooh, good you haven't left yet. Uh, you got something missing right there. <laughs> My mom, uh, Delayla, told me you there was another human in town. And I ran all the way from the farm here. Okay. Oh, a oh, housewarming gift. And I wanted you to have your mail twice every day, rain or shine, six in the morning and six at night. Wait, I just moved here. How does anybody send me any mail? I don't understand. So I think it's safe for my job. Uh, get a lot more interesting. Do you like getting mail? I love getting mail. Then I bet you'll be happy with what I have for you. Oh, what do you have? Butter. Oh, somebody sent me oh, butter. Somebody sent me craft a wooden storage. Okay. Check your mail and pick up any deliverables. So open mailbox. Uh, so can you, I've been informed by Gina that you have uh, emerged fully formed from the swirling mist. This is wonderful news. Happy day of mist birthing to you, new human. Other humans call me 
I know. Oh, so apparently this is a common thing. I guess I mean every human here has probably come from the from the the ether of the non-existence. Uh, and I'd like to share to you the joy of fishing. Oh my gosh! Please take this rod in your possession to seek uh, me out in the nearest convenience. Oh, and he's like one of the robot dudes. I shall be located at the pier for the next few millennia. Oh, that's so cool. And then here's this. We got a makeshift rod. Mark is red. And then Hassan. To whom may concern? City Hall requires I send these letters to new residents. Uh, you'll find a bow and a set of arrows attached to the package. City Hall also requires me to tell you that I am available to shoot you in their use. During work hours, you can find me in the Kalima village. This is not an invitation to waste my time. I am busy. Okay, so we've got a bow. We've got arrows. And we got a recipe. That's cool. This is so neat. I like this. Okay. And then we got to return to you and talk to you. Uh, setting in fantastic. My dad found an old copperhead arrow in our yard last week, but I've never seen him find any rocks. I found this strange artifact. Oh, wow. What does it do? No idea. I bet Gina might know. She's always hanging out in the ruins. Oh, she's the one that we talked to before. Okay. I almost forgot. Like I brought you a present for you, too. <gasps> oh, a Bug Scouts official belt and a set of smoke bombs, too. I'm a member of Kilima's, Kilima's Best. And only a bug catching club. I gotta run now. Oh, so you we can we can catch bugs? So it's smoke bombs. Uh okay. Alright. Uh we also got some butter, but I need to make the chest. So hold on. Craft. Um oh look at this. Arrow, standard smoke bomb. Is there a bug bugging you? Use the smoke bomb to catch it. Huh. That's kind of cool. Okay, and then uh wooden storage bin. Let's go ahead and make that. And then we'll place this. Right there. And how much how much does it hold? Um, a storage solution. Get a pack. That's inventory. Oh, is this general storage? This holds 400? No way. <gasps> Holy moly. That holds... This storage holds 400? That is fantastic. Good for them. Leave your housing plot. Okay, so I guess we'll let's go. Let's go to town. It's it's nighttime. Let's go spend the, the night on the town. Welcome to Polia quest completed. Uh, so happy to welcome completed. We started Singularity Six. Oh, this is the welcome for the dev team. Well, thank you so much. What the heck? Oh, whoa, that person's all shiny. How did they get all shiny and stuff? I want to be shiny. Ask Gina about the strange artifact. Talk to Badru. Uh, learn how to garden. Oh my gosh, we gotta learn how to garden. Uh, okay, hold on. Uh, that's Gina. I don't know who that is. Oh, they're sleeping. Oh, they're sleeping. It's nighttime. They're going to be sleeping. Okay, so Gina's not sleeping though. So we'll go talk to Gina. Uh, apparently these two are sleeping right now because it's dark. Oh, that's cool that there's like, a so like obviously there's a day night cycle, but the fact that like some people are going to be like sleeping during the night cycle, like that would make sense. But you know, they're not just like always available for you to talk to. But Gina over here is, she's just a workaholic. Oh, I almost lost her. <laughs> she was quick. Uh, good to see you again. Did you get settled in? Yes, I actually found something you might be interested in. Hmm, what is it? Oh, wow. I can't believe this. This thing is a ancient flow battery. Oh, these were used to power sources of ancient uh, for the ancient humans. I've been looking all over for something like this. And you say you found this under some old junk. I guess I'm lucky. Must be fate. I guess I'm lucky. This is certain my lucky day. It might take me a bit to figure out what this does. I'll send you a letter once I know something. All right. You forgot to eat again. Okay, so everybody else is asleep. So I guess we're going to go ahead and we'll wait for daytime. So uh, I'm going to go back to my, uh, we're going to go back to my my little place. And I guess we're just going to, I mean, there. I guess there was a, well, yeah, we got to wait till daytime because it seems like everybody else is sleeping. I think, I think that's what that means. I mean, that looks like a sleeping symbol if I've ever seen one. All right. It is officially daytime. So now we can set forth on our adventure to learn to fish and to farm because <laughs> that is, Sounds like a good time. I mean, fishing, farming, let's go. Why not? And I'm actually really curious to see the uh, the fishing mechanic in this game too, because some fish, I, I am future, love the fishing mechanic on that. Um, Stardew Valley, I'm not a big fan on, because like keeping it between like the, uh, that line or whatever, ah, just, yeah, you know, I don't know. Leave it, let me know what you think. Uh, okay, so we got to head, there's somebody that's 210 this way and 450 that, let's go this one first. I'm actually hoping we get a campfire and maybe get some cooking going. I'm going to guess that's probably going to go with the gardening because I'd like to be able to get my focus bar uh, like maxed out all the time, you know, so that way we... Oh, wait, this is... Hi. Are you who I'm supposed to be meeting? 
Uh, you're here, awesome. Your belt and smoke bombs, right? Oh, that's right. We're doing the bug catching right now. Uh, you gotta take the bug scouts out. Just repeat after me. Uh, I promise. <laughs> uh, awesome. Welcome to the bug scouts. Uh, you want to catch some easy start? Remember, uh, those certain bugs will only come out at certain times. Okay. What am I supposed to be doing here? Okay, so there's somebody else walking over here. Or is that a bug? Wait, are they in here? Yes. Oh, it's Wreath! 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 I don't know. Thanks. Uh, you're one of the newbies, right? Yes. Name's Wreath, but you can call me Trouble. In addition to being bad news, I also provide uh, Kalima with delicious soups and stews. <gasps> Stop by. Uh, can you teach me to cook? Uh, you want to learn to walk before you can swim. Uh, unless you're a fish, but I'm 97% sure you're a human. Why don't you start by making a campfire for your place? Once you start grilling up some shrooms like a champ, you'll get started in complicated stuff. Okay. Fantastic. So now we can, uh, we should be able to make a campfire now. That's perfect. And then let's see. We got something over here. <gasps> oh, look at this area. This is so cool. You know, I'm going to, I just, I feel like there's an experience with games like this that you you really you only you get the first experience once you know what i mean and honestly the way the town is set up the way that everything looks the way that it's just like it it feels kind of like um <laughs> like not to be uh you know a complete nerd here but it kind of feels like the first time like when you get to um a major city in like world of warcraft and stuff like that and, like the first your very first experience is like oh man this is a really cool area it's such a really pretty area it's like there's like the beautiful water and like the landscape the scenery like i like how the houses are but like everything just looks really good and it's just like a really exciting and new experience it's honestly <laughs> it's honestly what it is it's so cool oh look at this farm this farm looks so cool too mm. I just, I can't even, like, I hope we can build houses like this. Cause like, this is so cool looking. This is like so homey and just looks like it's just so cool. <gasps> Bedru, you must be the, you look like a farmer from way back. Why hi. <laughs> that is another friend I haven't met yet. Oh, look at that. That's a good way to think about it. Just friends you haven't met. That's strangers for you. Um, okay. Did I mention in addition to farming, I also do stand-up comedy. Huh. Can you teach me to garden? Come to the right place. If you care about a <laughs> carrot about fresh quality produce mm, i love it awesome uh if i had that kind of gumption maybe i'd do more with my life than make ends meet oh wow that's kind of unfortunate like sad but hey you know what it is what it is okay uh accept a quest gardening 101 looks like you're ready to throw a by canali he's the mayor he'll get you set up with a new with a new house oh so now we can get a house instead of a tent Craft a campfire, meet Badru at your plot, and talk to Kenley about getting a house. Okay. Well, I guess we... Wait. Who's sleeping at this hour? Wait, what's this? There's like a horseshoe right here. Oh, it's a map? Stables. Oh! You can fast travel for some coin. That's cool. All right, we're going to work our way over to this way. This is so cool. I just feel like there's so much in this world to explore. And uh, yeah, this is so cool. I'm, I'm, oh, hold on. Oh, it's a bug. How do I use this? Uh, how do I, okay, there's a butterfly right there. Okay, if I go to eight, I don't know how to use it. What is this? Oh, dazing insects. Press and hold to start aiming. Um, arc your shot to intercept the insect. Practice good timing. When an insect is hit by a smoke bomb, it will attempt to make, to break away. If they fail, they become dazed and can pick, be picked up off the ground. Oh, okay. Do we get it? <gasps> I got a common blue butterfly. Oh my gosh. It's Pokemon. <laughs> this is so cool. I love it. Absolutely love it. You know what? I was like, I was like, why? What was like, what, what, what are we gonna do catching bugs? I don't even care. That's fun. That is a fun way to do stuff. And uh, I'm sure there's, you know, some kind of collection collectible deal on it. And there's, yep, there's a level associated with that. Anytime there's a level associated with it, you know? Um, okay. So let's go ahead and put that away. Um, I don't need an axe out of either right now, but I guess that's fine. So this must be the mayor. This must be like the, the, the city hall. Yeah, it looks like it is. Um, and the mayor must be in here, but he must be sleeping. That's kind of weird. Why would he be sleeping at this hour? I have no idea, but you know what? Let's go do, uh, let's go do some gardening and stuff. 
Hey, it's Bodro. He beat, he beat me here. I don't know how he beat me here. Also, I would like to make a request. I would like a beard, please. Big, long beard would be nice. <laughs> this guy's got facial hair. How come I can't have one? Oh, all right. Let us do our best. Good to see you again. A spring bean. This place already is looking different. Uh, figured you used to be working on setting up that tent. That is some work ethic. Uh, work ethic is my middle name. All right. Let's use uh, this a tad bit prickly with new folks. I bet you've been working up an appetite for all that chopping. Well, you got patience. I got the solution for your woes. Gardening. All right. Let's get some gardening going here. So we got soil and a makeshift hoe. Okay. So make sure your garden plot is on your action bar and select by pressing the number of the action bar and where your gun plot goes basically it's like a building thing and then once your plot is down press and hold r to select the hoe from the tool wheel till the ground <clears throat> till the ground with the hoe by pressing and holding that okay and then you place your seeds they need to be watered each day the water indicator drops let you know when they're thirsty many crops can be harvested once and the cycle begins again and when crops are ready to be harvested press f to harvest it fantastic okay so with all of that being said, we've got, um, you know what? I feel like this area right over here. I feel like this area is going to be our farming area. Um, now do I put it all the way against the fence? I think so. I think we maximize our usage. You know what I mean? Oh, I don't, uh, I don't want to go that far out. We'll go, but one there. And then actually I have one right here too. Oh, it attaches right to it perfect okay so now we get our hoe out and then how long what do i do here oh i probably have to uncover oh this is cool so i wonder if we get better tool upgrades if it'll do like a bigger area or it'll do it faster you know how much i wonder how much i actually have to oh it'll sparkle when it, oh it sparkles when it's done got it oh we found another like pot or something i don't know what it is but we found it Oh, it's plant fiber. It's just like a random gift thingy. Okay, that's kind of cool. So really, you kind of only have to hit the edges on these things. You don't have to do like every single little square. As long as you get like most of the edges, it usually, it'll fill it in. Yep. Okay, perfect. So now that we did that, uh, let's go into our inventory here. And then did he give me anything for, wait, hold on a second. Did he give me anything to plant? Oh, oh, I had to place those first. Okay. So let's talk to you. Uh, you might be wondering what do you need next unfortunately seeds don't plant and water themselves you're gonna need some of these bad boys consider my housewarming gift uh once your seeds are in the ground go to that pond and fill it up oh do i have a pond here i didn't even know i had a pond here if you find yourself need more seeds you can pick them up from zeke's well i can't wait to see you again my gosh all right uh what pond <gasps> oh we got a little pond right here oh, we're going for a swim all right so hold on if i switch this to that refill watering cans from the nearby pool simply equip your watering can and oh darn it i should you know what i should have done i should have placed them right here i should have my garden i should have placed my garden right here well now you know now you know okay hold on so this thing all right that is full of water which we actually don't need the water yet we actually need these so one there Okay, so there's our carrots, and then let's go ahead and grab our onions, and then we switch to our watering can, and we should be able to water these, right? <gasps> oh, perfect. <laughs> this is cool. It works pretty good. So I wonder if there's also watering can upgrades that do like more than one at a time, you know? Um, okay, so we did that. That's all we can do about that. Uh, oh, we can craft a campfire now. So let's see campfire ready to craft. Let's go and make that bad boy and then let's go ahead and set that down Let's set that down like right here and then let's go grab some mushrooms real quick because there's mushrooms out here And we'll grab those and we'll get some food. Oh, there's also a bigger pond right here That's cool All right mushrooms. <laughs> I'm supposed to be mushroom gathering. I'm sorry easily sidetracked Forging is now level two. Heck yeah. I don't know what that means, but we did it. Did we unlock new things? I'm sure there's probably like unlocks associated with levels, but uh, we just haven't really figured that out yet. Ooh, there's like a cracked thing right there. You know, this is actually really cool. So this is our housing area, right? Like this is, this is where everybody's houses are going to be. They're going to be probably in about the same area. But what's cool about it is that I can already see like uh, expansion possibilities. So like there's definitely an expansion right there. 
um definitely another expansion going up that hill right there see those those rocks that are like in the way or like a bridge or something like that like there's definitely like expansion possibilities here which is really cool and really exciting so like you can still play on your own on your own like little plot on your own land but then there's also like the possibility that it will be upgraded in the future for future things so very neat also we have another little spot of water oh this is a deep one that's cool i wonder if we can fish in that one okay so i've got a bunch of mushrooms let's see if we can do some cooking here so grill these ingredients are required to start oh so we need three mushrooms for okay so you need three mushrooms per now is there a chance of it burning <laughs> i hope not okay so there's that now let's do it again might as well then we'll go ahead and get our um actually you know what let's go ahead and eat it we got 50 focus so now we get more xp mm-hmm okay you know what let's go ahead and eat it um wait i can't eat that right now you can't refill your oh there we go 50 focus okay perfect i was gonna say i was like why can't i fill my bar okay harvest a carrot harvest an onion cooking 101 use a 50 focus oh wow weed prevention what weed prevention i'm not sure what that means <laughs> i guess we'll figure that out okay let's go to town let's see if we can uh talk to somebody about getting a house now yes i'm gonna say that's the mayor looking guy well no maybe it's that guy over there okay well he's not sleeping anymore that's a good sign i'm also i'm telling you that we're gonna be we're gonna be going around fixing up this kind of stuff right here like this stuff laying right here i bet you anything we're gonna be like taking quests to fix up stuff and it's gonna be super cool and i can't wait and we have a quest we have hassan right here uh, but no, I gotta go talk about. I gotta go talk to a man about a house. He's gonna tell me I need so much money or something, and then we're gonna get introduced into the whole money making system. City hall storage room. Okay, can't do anything there. Record room. Oh, you know what? He's probably upstairs, huh? Yep. Uh, hello, good sir. Oh, you look like a classic. <laughs> you look like a classic mayor. Uh, Honorable Keneally Bahari. I destroy names. The first sports. So okay, that's fine and brother yep congratulations i wanted to ask about getting a house uh well personally i inherited mine have you tried that i want to build my own all oh, right of course uh you just moved in uh the plot didn't come with one no uh i'm sure i have the paperwork around here somewhere just give me a moment no mm, where's that hmm i shall tell you what go find tish our resident carpenter i'm sure she'd be delighted in starting on some nice furniture while i locate the forms okay so he's gonna take seven to ten business days to find a piece of paper that's probably laying on his desk <laughs> and we need to find tish we also need to oh is this the fishing guy let's uh let's go talk to the fishing guy oh oh this must be where we get new tools uh, repair tools do uh do my tools need repaired i don't think so i don't think my tools have durability yet put the bone uh oh that's hunting okay um that's not what i wanted to do i wanted to yeah let's let's go uh let's go fishing let's i want to see what the fishing mechanic is like i think this is the guy for fishing i might have lied this may not be the fishing person <laughs> this looks like the graveyard are you the uh do i need to talk to you hello sorry i'm a place can be tough but you've been doing a great job i thought i'd help you out i've got a couple recipes for purchase that might make your life a little bit easier you probably want to get a sawmill first thing to turn some of that wood into planks oh my gosh okay so we've got basic sawmill we have standard axe heartwood plank heavy sawmill fine axe flow infused plank dousing rod exquisite axe oh my goodness and we also have like this super foraging metals oh man okay uh so that's that's cool but i i'm i'm flat broke right now good sir so that was not the fishing guy the fishing guy must be the other one <laughs> somewhere oh look at that that looks like copper or something um oh we need to go talk to the mining guy you know what? i don't see the mining guy on our uh on our to-do list here so i guess we'll go talk to i'm guessing is tish in here yeah there's tish the oh hi tish uh welcome to the valley i run the furniture store oh so you're the carpenter okay he explains the hammer and the the uh the scissors and all that fun stuff new to town just moved in i just materialized from a void <laughs> well that sure sounds nice oh man that's funny if anything uh with any of the locals don't hesitate to ask 
uh, Kanali sent me. I'm so glad you're gonna live here. I was trying to come up with a good welcome gift when I realized a house isn't much of a home without furniture. So here's some simple recipes for you to start with. If you're tired from all your hard work, um, why not build yourself a place to sit or a table to eat at? My friend Jell insisted that you had a wardrobe too. He's a tailor and all he always says, look your best makes you feel your best. All right. So we've got a dining table, log cabin fence. Oh, we got a whole bunch of stuff. Torch cabin stool. Oh, oh, this is her store. And there's like lamps and stuff like that in here. And like a, a dragon tied orchid planter uh fun stuff fun stuff it's not functional though so i shall not spend my money i'm sorry but we must spend our monies on making better axes <laughs> harvest cat harvest onion uh place a chair place a table place a wardrobe do we have any other there was something about getting um no let's i thought we had a something about getting completed oh no that's it skills bug catching do we don't have anything for oh Oh, we could collect a Kalima Night Moth. Oh, it says do one of the falling. So we could turn that in. Um, I was hoping we would get our pickaxe, though, unfortunately. But it doesn't look like we're getting our pickaxe. And also, I don't know where that guy's at. For some reason, I thought the pickaxe was, like, way over here or something. And where's our fishing thing? What is this? <gasps> oh, wild garlic. Oh. Hold on. Do we get him? Oh, he's running hard. Was that a Night Moth? Oh. <gasps> Okay, we got this guy. Are you a night moth? Oh, we got a night moth too. Ha <laughs> ha. Look at us doing the things. Um, okay, so where is where's our where's our friend at here? I need to uh can you only have so many things pinned? Oh, you can only have so many things pinned. You only have three things pinned. Okay, so return to Oh, he's over here. Okay. All right, let's go over there. Let's return there. We got we got some new bugs. We also got some wild garlic too. Ooh, we also have mail. I forgot we have mail. Oh, there's another night moth. Do we need to collect multiples of these? I'm actually kind of curious like what they do. Maybe they're worth something that we could sell. Well, that one had like a trail behind it. Oh, they all do. <laughs> this is so, I don't know why this is fun, but it is. All right, we're gonna go talk to him. Maybe we can sell him the bugs. Can I go in here? Hello. What are you doing standing here in the corner like that? Today's a great day for adventure. Well, any day is a great day for adventure. Today's especially a good day. I caught some bugs. Great job. I wish I had some kind of reward for you. Uh, how about this? Mom packed me too big of a lunch and I couldn't finish. That's not really... <laughs> Suggest you check your mail later. But the real reward is learning to catch bugs. Am I right? Exactly. So we did that. Uh, can I use it on this guy? Oh, and he's gone. That's funny. Hold on. This one's like shining and making sounds. Oh. Oh, there. Hold on. That one was special. Aquariums and terrariums. You've caught a star quality item. Star quality bugs and fish can be placed in their own terrariums and aquariums. Select the item from the action bar um, and click and place. Oh, wait, are you telling me we just got a shiny? We just got a shiny. Oh, you can sell these things. A garden millipede is worth 36 gold. Wow. That's worth more than the bug that thing. Holy moly. Okay. Oh, how did you get that the flying thing? I want the flying thing. All right, we gotta go. We gotta. <laughs> we need to go back home. We gotta check our mail. We gotta check our plants. We gotta. Um, and I guess we need to do something with our our shiny. I need to do some fishing too. We got so many things to do. Hold on, there's some there's some stuff out here that's glowing. Uh, overflowing bounty. It looks like your inventory is full. Extra items are stored in overflow for a limited time to help you manage your uh, inventory safely. Eventually items in the overflow will be destroyed or replaced by new ones. Treat it for inventory seriously. Understood. Okay. So inventory is full. Let's go ahead. <laughs> Let's head back. Drop our inventory off. I don't want to just go around and collect things to see if we can't make some money too. Okay. So let's go ahead and let's throw some stuff into our inventory here. So don't need you, you guys. Um, all of this stuff we probably just don't need right now. Get a back, get a pack upgrade at Zeke's store to unlock. We need to get some backpack upgrades. That's for sure. And let's see, what else did we, what else did we have to do? Place the stuff, harvest carrot, use focus. Oh, we need to check our mail. That's right. Ashura. Looks like you've been improving your forging skills. Why don't you stop by the inn later? I'll teach you how to build a sawmill that can put your supplies to use. Oh, okay. Uh, I've been doing a lot of digging on the flow battery you found. Humans used to use these to power sorts of things. You know, there's this old door under the waterfall that I've been trying to open just a little ways past the shrine where we were first met at. 
tried all sorts of things to open it. Maybe this battery could be the key. Why don't you give it a try? Um, this place used to belong to your people after all. You really should be the first one to check it out. Oh, and then she gave us our battery back. Okay, so there's a magical door that we could open. That is cool. That is neat. We got so much stuff to do, but that is going to end this episode. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, like, subscribe, all the fun things. If you want to see more, make sure you leave a comment. Let me know. Leave a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. This is cool. This is neat. And again, like I said, if you're interested and you want to check out the game for yourself, I have a link down below. It is a closed beta, so you can click on the link. You can sign up for an account, and they will slowly start adding people. Now, I don't know if you use my referral link, if it'll get you in any faster. I have absolutely no idea. I don't think it will, but it might. But, you know, it never hurt. It never hurt. So, yeah, uh, use the link down below if you want to. If not, it's okay, but we get free, like, free cosmetic -y stuff, so might as well. Um, but, yeah, we're going to check this out. This is cool. I'm having fun. I and I and like So, initial impressions is um, if you play Dreamlight Valley, uh, Disney's Dreamlight Valley, it kind of feels a little bit like that, but it also feels like, um, oh, I don't even know. I don't know. It just, it feels good. Like, it, it feels like a really good, like, I there's nothing I'm complaining about right now. Um, there, I'm not, like, nitpicking. I haven't described the fishing yet. We haven't got anything mining, but so far, it seems like the area that we can build in is huge. It seems like we're going to have a lot of fun. Like, there's foraging, there's bug catching. It seems like there's a lot to do in the game right now. Um, and like I said, I don't know. That might change. Like, maybe there's, you know, early access, things like that. We might not have a ton of stuff in the beginning, but it feels good. So, um, yeah. Thanks again for coming. Also, it's, uh, I don't think I mentioned this, but it's it's free to play it right now. Like, I don't. I think it's a free to play game, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know. I could be wrong. But you just go to the website and sign up and then you can play. So I don't know if there's going to be some kind of um, premium currency. Oh, there probably will be some kind of premium currency at some point because, you know, they got to make money to play a game, but or to make the game. But yeah, interesting. I'll uh, we'll get more information on that in the next episode. But yeah, thanks again for coming out. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everybody.